20% of strokes suffered in the UK are caused by atrial fibrillation, or AF. AliveCore say their medical-grade mobile ECG app, Cardia, could detect possible AF and help identify symptoms early on, potentially saving hundreds of lives a year through early discovery. Joanna Simpson went to find out how they're keeping their finger on the pulse of mobile health. Hi, you'd like to take a reading? Should we have I'm a look? I'm doing a reading now. Louise and Lucy Fellows are checking their heart rhythm. They suffer from a heart rhythm disorder which causes them to experience symptoms including palpitations, dizziness and breathlessness. For those who are living with heart rhythm disorders, particularly those with atrial fibrillation, their condition can become very serious and lead to stroke. The Fellows say it's useful to be able to monitor their symptoms to know when to go to hospital. Mine's about 97 beats per minute. Uh, mine's 95. That's all looking good. That's great for us, isn't it? Good news. Now I have got this device, I'm able to manage my condition and don't have to call on the NHS and anywhere near as many times as I would before. When I first started having it, before it was diagnosed, I would have to get an ambulance because I was so poorly. Because the only way that you could see what was going on was to be on like a 12 lead ECG. Um, and especially as it's medical grade technology that you can actually really trust it because you can get like fitness things that measure your heart rate, but especially if you've got an irregular heart rate, then it's, you, you can't really trust it, that it's going to be showing you what's actually going on. But the fact that it's medical grade is that you, can act, you know that that is what's really going on. Absolutely. More than a million people in the UK have atrial fibrillation. Their risk of stroke is five times greater, but a third don't even know they have it. So early detection is key to reducing their risk of stroke. Consultant cardiologist Professor Nicholas Peters says it currently takes more than a year to diagnose atrial fibrillation. During this time, the patient is at risk of having a stroke. The societal cost of stroke in the UK, according to the Stroke Association, is thought to be £9 billion a year. And what impact could this have on the NHS? So, when we compare use of the cardiac system with what we do now, we would have the ability to make the diagnosis at the earliest possible opportunity. And if it's ingrained in a system whereby the data from the cardia system uh, themselves will trigger a triaging process and uh, initiation of appropriate treatment, we have on the back of that a system whereby with minimal delay we can get patients on appropriate treatment. In respect of atrial fibrillation, anticoagulation is the mainstay. In patients in whom their associated risk factors denote them as being at risk, to start them on anticoagulants is to protect them from stroke, is therefore potentially life-saving. The Cardia app has received important forms of validation, CE mark and FDA clearance in the United States through published clinical evidence. NICE have conducted an independent review. It's described as a medical grade monitor, which is effectively a mobile ECG. So the benefits is, is that location is no longer an issue. You can take a recording wherever you might be. So if you're an individual with symptoms, you can capture them whenever you feel them. If you're a medical professional who's in the community, or qu quite often we hear stories of doctors on planes, you know, be, reaching for their cardia because they can take an ECG of medical quality remotely without being um, in the hospital or the surgery. And that's the real power of it. Obviously, mum's been living with it for a long time, not knowing what's going on. But as I have, from almost from the beginning when I've got diagnosed, I've had the ability to be in control of it um, and not worry about what's going on. Yeah, it just gives me control and I know that I'll be able to manage it for the rest of my life. Alive Course says this is about empowering patients and catching symptoms early. All normal. So they're able to have an informed discussion about their care. It believes if the NHS embraces this mobile technology, it will help reduce costs of stroke-related illnesses and ultimately save lives.